Now, in the rest of the day's news, Korea and Uzbekistan have agreed to push for new joint energy projects as the countries seek to deepen and diversify their political, economic and cultural ties. The deals were inked during a meeting on Tuesday between Korean President Park Geun-hye and her Uzbek counterpart in Tashkent. Our Choi Yusan, who's travelling with the president, filed this report. President Bak and her Uzbek counterpart Islam Karimov agreed to continue cooperation in joint projects worth more than 8 billion U.S. dollars, such as Uzbek's gas field development and chemical complex construction. They also sought ways to expand their economic cooperation in the areas of energy, textiles and transportation. Seoul asked for Tashkent's support in helping Korean businesses take part in a four billion U.S. dollar Uzbek gas and processing plant development and in the construction of a 300 million dollar solar plant in Samarkand. Korea helping to develop an Uzbek electronic government administrative system and Korean firms participating in an Uzbek highway construction were also discussed. Korea is a strategic partner that has built an immense economy and knowledge in science and technology. Seoul signed a deal to build a textile complex in Uzbekistan, which is the world's number six cotton producer. The Uzbek leader also endorsed President Bak's trust-building process with North Korea, as well as a Eurasia initiative reconnecting energy and logistics infrastructure from the Far East to Europe to lay the groundwork for regional peace and to change the global economic system. The next stop on President Bak's Eurasia initiative campaign tour is Samarkand, a city that was at the heart of the Silk Road. She'll then travel to Kazakhstan Wednesday for a three-day state visit. Che Yusan, Arirang News, Tashkent.